So if you're a CSGO frag movie creator like me, you might have had some demos on CS2 limited test. However, if you actually decided to look at those demos after limited test ended, you might have noticed one thing, and I will show it right here. So when you try to boot up the demo that you have from the limited test, it just straight up doesn't boot up and it goes back to the main menu. And if you try the same thing by using the command play demo, if you have it downloaded from personal game data and then place it to this um, CS2 folder, the same thing applies here. So you notice that the demo just straight up doesn't boot up. And you may now think that, okay, the demos are now gone, I cannot use them anymore. Well, you would be wrong, because you can actually still open up these demos if you were to download limited test once more. But again, how the hell am I going to download the limited test since Valve has now replaced the limited test and CSGO with the definitive CS2. Well, in this video I will show you how to download the limited test so you can open the old demos, as well as how to download even older version of the limited test so you can open 128 tick demos from Faceit for example, as what Valve did is they hardcoded the game into 64 tick, which means you cannot open any demos that are not 64 tick, including the old 128 tick Faceit demos, so I'm gonna show in this video as well how to open those. So the process for this is relatively simple. So here we are on Steam DB. So we have Counter-Strike 2 here and the app ID 730. So now what you need to do, you go to these dbots, it's by default that price history, go to dbots. And here we have this one here and this one here. Uh, this is only if you're on Windows, if you're on Apple or if you're in Linux, you select these. But because I'm on Windows, I select this one. You click this one and this one, you open the new tabs or whatever. And here you can see the manifests. And the manifest you're looking for is this one from 15th of September, which is 13 days ago, which is the last update that the limited test received. So now that you have these open, you have the same thing here, which is here. Now you need to open Steam console. And opening Steam uh, console is pretty easy. You just paste this here. So Steam colon uh, slash slash nav slash console. And you just paste that. And it opens console on your Steam client. So now what you need to do, you need to type download underscore dbot, then 730, which is the CS2 or CSGO um, app ID. Then you need to get the uh, dbot you're gonna download, which is, we start with this one. So we paste it here, and then we get the manifest, which in this case would be the 15th of September. You just copy this, and then you paste it on here. And now you just press enter, but because I've already done this, I, I won't do it. And you do the same thing with the other dbot, which is this one, 15th of September, and you take this manifest. Then you just do the same thing and it will start downloading both of these. But because I already have them downloaded, I'm not going to download them here. I'm just going to show it where it downloads. So here it sh there should be a folder called content. I don't have it here because it I did this yesterday already. Uh, but when you click on the contents, it should have both of the D parts um, separately over here. So then after you have done that, you just go to common folder of your Steam library. You make a new folder, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then you make a game folder over here. And then you paste your stuff here. If if there's a game folder that downloaded, then you just paste it here. And then the, all the contents are here. But I already did this yesterday. So I already have them here. It should look like this. So what you then need to do, here is your normal Counter-Strike 2 installation. And the easiest way is to just type whatever you want in the folders here. And then you replace this folder with Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And you need to do this basically because otherwise you won't have launch options at all. As, as you can see, I have launch options here. They will launch with these now that the folder is called Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You don't need to really do this. You can have them separately. But just remember, if you have um, the beta depot as Counter-Strike Global Offensive and there's a new update, it will obviously replace it with the new update. So when you're done with recording, and if you want to keep them, just remember, of course, to just rename this whatever so it doesn't rewrite it. And then, of course, if you want to play the actual CS2, you just change this to, let's say, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, whatever. And then you just remove the numbers from here. And now we can play Counter-Strike 2 in the current version. So that is just how simple it is. Nevertheless, now that we have the limited test here, if we just boot it up through Steam, uh, I don't take any responsibility if this actually gets you in any trouble because the new VAC system has been a little weird during the open beta. For example, people got banned for using just simple console commands. 
So just in case, just put uh, minus insecure here if you want to be safe or just use an alt account that you don't really care about like I'm doing here. So let's boot up the game. So the game booted up, you will see that your client needs to update. This is how you know it's the older version, but of course at the bottom left it also says limited test build. But if you want to be extremely sure, you can just open your inventory and see that there are items that are not loading because this is the global offensive badge and this is the CSGO music kit. But of course they're not loading because this is the older version of uh, CS2, so it doesn't recognize those items. And now, uh, because this version doesn't have the watch tab, you need to unfortunately open them through console by using play demo. Here is the same Inferno demo that I tried earlier. And let's boot it up. And as you can see, it booted up. Although, um, one problem that I noticed with this uh, build specifically is that for some reason the view models are a little fucked, as you can see here. Um, don't worry about this. This is easily fixable by just skipping the first round. That's literally it. You so just wait for the first round to end. And now... It should be fixed, like, just like this. It fixes itself. If your clip was on the pistol round, well, bad luck, I guess. Because I don't know how to fix that. It could be just an issue with CS2 demos overall, I have no idea. Because this hasn't happened to me on the actual current build of CS2. Or during the limited test, so it could be just a bug with this build, specifically. But this is how you get the limited test demos working. Of course, you cannot play the limited test build, except with bots. Just remember to go back to the normal build if you want to play Counter-Strike 2. So just as I stated before, Faze tried out 128 tick servers for CS2, but then Valve hardcoded 64 tick into the game and now they're forced to use 64 tick. And because of this issue, you cannot run demos that run on 128 tick servers anymore. And you may be wondering, how can I open these demos if I hit a sick clip and face it before? Well, it works the similar way as you would imagine, just as the previous guy that I showed you. Here's 20 days ago, face is already testing 128 sub tick servers. What you can do is you just go back 20 days, which would be around 9 September, and you do the same trick as I showed you with the boat D parts here. 9th of September, you may even want to try 8th September because I'm not sure which is the specific day that the tick rate was patched out. You just make the folder in your game folder on your common Steam apps folder. So it's the exact same way, just you use different day and different manifest ID. And then one last thing that I'm going to show you here. If you're wondering how to get CSGO running that you can use for um, recording purposes, maybe you want to play community service, maybe you want to use something like MIGI, HLAE or whatever. Well, there's a simple trick for it, as you guys probably know, if you go to Counter-Strike 2 here, properties, betas, then you can go for CSGO underscore demo underscore viewer, and you can just pick this and it starts downloading Counter-Strike Global Offensive. However, if you have actually tried this like I did, what eventually happens is that of course you want to play CS2 then opt out from the beta and you go back to none. And then what you notice is that when you open the Counter-Strike folder, the CSGO EXE is gone, entirely gone, and you cannot open it again. So you may be wondering, how can I have both CS2 and Counter-Strike Global Offensive installed in case I want to switch, maybe play face it on CSGO or whatnot? Well, just like before, rename this whatever you want, the CS2 folder, the actual CS2, and then you opt to the beta. Once the beta is downloaded, it should be called Counter-Strike Global Offensive on your Steam folder, then you just rename that folder to whatever, maybe like, you can just name it CSGO. Then, because the Steam thinks you don't have Counter-Strike Global Offensive installed, then you can go back to none and it should reinstall CS2. So that is the way you can um, have both CS2, uh, CS2 and CSGO installed, as well as the beta depot if you need it for demos. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps.